guys, Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So today I'm going to be continuing to collect for Ariel's comfy cozy costume. Um, I am going to send out my princesses again to try and collect for her. I only need three more, so I should be able to get it in the next set of drops, hopefully. I have had amazing luck with these drops, guys. Really, really great. Actually, way better luck than I had with... Uh, Belle's comfy cozy costume with her uh, gold fabric. It was honestly so hard and those were only epic drops. So I don't know why that was, but it was. And anyways, it's at least Ariel's going really fast and it doesn't even feel like legendary drops to me. It more feels like maybe rare. So you know what? No complaints. I'm not complaining. And I still have three days to go here. So I'm really looking forward to collecting the rest of the item for her costume. So now we can see though, guys, if you are running out of time, Ariel's Comfy Cozy Costume is available in a bundle. It's called the Comfy Ariel Bundle, and you get her costume plus 40 gems. So it doesn't include her, so if you don't have her in your game, you need to collect for her first before you can unlock this feature. So the bundle is $6.99, which is pretty good, I think. Um, especially because you get 40 gems with it as well. I think if you didn't have the gems, I would say, yeah, just try and collect for it. But it really is a cool costume. Actually, all of the Princess Comfy Cozy costumes look amazing on them. I am super happy. I think my favorite, though, out of all of them so far is definitely Cinderella's. And she's actually the only welcome screen I have not been able to see yet. Because her welcome screen will have changed from her classic outfit that she wears and when you collect for her um, at the very beginning when you welcome her it's not that same princess costume it's a the comfy cozy one so two very different welcome screens and how I know that though is because I have leveled up some of the other princesses that got costumes and it was a different welcome screen like when I leveled up Jasmine and Belle uh, those two for example they were definitely way different welcome screens so uh, you know I think it's cool that they changed the welcome screen but as I'm going to say again and I keep saying in my videos and I apologize if it's a little bit annoying but they need to have the welcome button in your character so that you can see the character's welcome screen and stuff like that in whatever costume. And now I understand at the beginning of when they created the game and stuff like that why that feature wasn't available because it was like, you know what, you level up to level 10, you don't really need to see the welcome screen anymore. But since they started changing the welcome screens with the costumes, I think it's only fair now because it almost doesn't make you want to level up your characters all the way to level 10. So like I, I know I definitely needed to and wanted to level up Cinderella to level 10 but the fact that I don't get to see her comfy cozy costume in a welcome screen for me is like super discouraging so I hope that that is a feature that they add to the game very soon maybe in the next update so let me know in the comments below if you think that is a good idea that Disney Magic Kingdoms put that welcome screen button that's what I'm gonna call it the welcome screen button I should even like find an image and try and be like this is exactly where it would go <laughs> if this button existed <laughs> just so they know hey guys if you watch my video this button needs to exist in this game all right enough about this welcome screen button at least for now i'm sure i'll get on a rant in another video about it but um anyways so collecting for ariel's comfy cozy costume as i said it's been really easy and uh i should get that legendary drop again now it is possible possible that I could have to send all my uh, characters out again for something else, but I think I should be fine in terms of the drops there. Again, if it's one more round, it's not a big deal. Um, if you guys are running out of time, as I said, bundle is a great way to do it. I don't think there is a bundle for collecting the actual characters themselves. I think it's just the costume that got the bundle there. Um, you can, though, in terms of characters, if you're, again, if you're falling quite a bit behind, you can purchase Vanellope in a pack with the pancake milkshake stand. Uh, the concession is super adorable. I highly recommend getting that one. Um, I just, I feel like, like, can you really stay without it? You know? It's just adorable. I don't have a perfect place for it, but I'm hoping it'll go over by Princess dressing room and look kind of good around that area, but... You know what, right now it's just put it wherever and after the event I'll reorganize my kingdom a little bit. Not emptying it, no speed build, but I am going to uh, rearrange things a little bit. 
especially because a lot of the attractions like I feel that they kind of belong in certain areas with the attractions that I currently already have so I feel like I just need to make some adjustments to that and stuff anyways I have decided to level up piglet now kind of random but he was kind of the only one available that I wanted to level up piglet is now level eight why thank you for thinking of me I mean he's so cute piglet I just want to give you a great big hug and we've got dialogue Hello, Pooh. You're looking very thoughtful today. What are you doing? I'm very glad you asked, Piglet. I am going to Rabbit's house to do an experiment. Oh, I see. Uh, what's an experiment? Why, it's something that Christopher Robin told me about. Something from away at school. It's like twice times, you see. But, well, some fluff got in my ear while he was telling me, but I almost heard most of it. Would you like to help me do one? I wish I could do a better Pooh Bear voice, honestly. It would be so awesome if I could do Pooh Bear better. For science, send Pooh and Piglet to Rabbit's house. Of course, they're going to make a big giant mess at Rabbit's house. That's basically where everything happens and Rabbit gets super upset. So, <laughs> yeah. Basically, that's most of the, the storyline and dialogue that we get. It's always about Rabbit being upset. Anything to do with Rabbit. I think my Rabbit actually, though, is like level 10, if I'm not mistaken. So, pretty good. Whoa, guys, I only need one more fabric. I just saw that right. One more fabric. It dropped and I didn't even notice. Would you look at that? So I do have to send them out for one more round. Uh, all right. I'm so glad I can help. Honestly, it'll take no time at all. So that means the Ariel's Comfy Cozy costume, guys, is going to be available uh, for me to put on Ariel and everything pretty much in like two hours, which is fantastic. Here is Vanellope, and I love her welcome screen. So cute. Vanellope is now level three. Sweet mother of monkey milk. That felt awesome. <laughs> I love doing Vanellope's voice. So fun. Now, another fun voice to do is Mother Gothels. Especially if she laughs. We'll see if she does, though. She does. Mother Gothel is now level 10. Oh, to be young again. <laughs> oh, Rapunzel, you know what we haven't done in the longest time. Use me to magically regenerate your youth? Well, yes, though I was hoping you remembered it more fondly. I suppose it was silly of me to think you still held any affection for me. Oh, Mother, I suppose it wasn't that bad. Mother's Day Part 3, send Mother Gothel, okay. Yeah, you know what? I don't even wanna read that quest. Seriously, Rapunzel, what a sucker. Sully, it worked. The kids aren't afraid of me anymore. Well, you know what they say. Use a rhyme to solve your plight and everything will be all right. Quest complete, a real pro Part 3. I'm pretty sure Mike just made that up, but it was a good rhyme. Yeah, okay. I've been working on a new act that is guaranteed to pack in the crowds. Juggling, laugh, canisters. Clowning around, send Mike to juggle, laugh, canisters. I'm sure that will give everyone a big, giant laugh. Now, I am all ready now for Ariel's comfy cozy costume to put it on her. So guys, let's start that 60 minute process. Let's do it. Amazing.
Okay, so before we get Ariel's comfy cozy costume officially on her, I am going to be bringing Honey Lemon back into the kingdom. Love her welcome screen. Honey Lemon is now level nine. Now this is a chemical reaction. Indeed. Amazing. So Ariel's comfy cozy costume now is ready. So let's go ahead and get her into the kingdom with it on. Dialogue, yay. Cinderella, I'm so sorry I'm late. And I know you probably feel like you've been waiting for years, but I got your message. And I asked everyone I know if they had any helpful gadgets or gizmos, and somebody gave me this. What's it called again? Ooh, software debugging tool. <laughs> That's wonderful, Ariel. In that case, why don't we figure out how that tool works together? Quest complete. Where were you? You know, I'd like that. I'd like that very much. Thank you for playing the Wreck-It Ralph event. Guys, I have completed the event. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Super duper happy. I am going to have to do a video recap for you guys once the event is officially over because I do still have the opportunity to level up a few more of the princesses or the Wreck-It Ralph characters. Speaking of which, I am going to level up Ariel. Um, and now that she has her comfy cozy costume on, we will be able to see her welcome screen, but that will have to wait for the next video. So make sure you guys to stay tuned for the recap to find out everything that I was able to do in the limited time event. So I got all the characters, all of the princesses comfy cozy costumes and I have all the princesses already so that is fantastic so I think overall this has been a very successful event and I still have over two days to go yay so happy I can actually go to sleep tonight and not wake up every two hours to check for leaderboards or to you know collect fabric Woo! this feels super good let me know in the comments below how you guys are doing in the event hopefully you guys are getting close to finishing everything that you want to collect in this event and that is everything I'm going to be doing for today's video so make sure to stay tuned for the next one make sure to subscribe hit that little bell for post notifications and as always don't forget to support this video by giving it a big magical Mickey thumbs up and we will see you guys for the next Disney's Magic Kingdoms game video bye Thank <laughs> you.